what did you find after the home run to Gomes? Yeah, um, I, don't know, I thought as a lineup, they're pretty professional. I, you know, they're always prepared. I've played with some of those guys, played against a lot of them. Um, and it just felt like maybe when I was in advantage counts, they were kind of looking at the the top of the zone for the fastball, knowing my tendencies. Um, it just seemed like they were making some educated guesses and looking out over in certain certain parts of the plate. Um, maybe where teams prior to this hadn't. So it took an adjustment from me, Gary, uh, and Matt Blake in between innings there to start throwing the change up a little bit, drop the curveball in for strikes a little more, move the fastball around a little more, throw down in the zone with it just to kind of like change their eye levels. <clears throat> How does that work? Does Matt Blake come to you and say, I think you need to throw that change up more? Or is it just you seeing the swings and Gary seeing the swings where you guys get together and decide a change needs to be made? Yeah, it was just kind of a mix. You know, I was looking at video there of some of the pitches, and I was like, hey, some of those, you know, weren't bad pitches that they were hitting. Um, so that kind of started the conversation, and then, you know, we go from there and kind of talk about approach between all three of us. You've relied heavily on that elevated fastball to, to get strikeouts and to get yourself through games. What does it tell you about where you're at, the fact that you're able to do what you did with those other pitches? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, as a starting pitcher, you have to be able to do a bunch of different things, especially to turn the lineup over multiple times and pitch deep into games. So, um, you know, I think tonight was probably a good lesson for me. You know, what do I do when a team's taking that pitch away from me or maybe looking up there a little more? You know, I've got the change up in my back pocket. I could throw the curveball for a strike. Uh, you know, I can move the fastball around at the bottom of the zone a little bit. Just, you know, that's on me and that's on Gary to pay attention to kind of where the hitter's eyes are and what their takes and swings look like. And how much do you look at this as a obviously not the end result you guys would have liked as a team, but for you a step in the right direction pitching into that seventh inning? Yeah, yeah, I was excited to have the opportunity to go out there for the seventh. Um, you know, I felt really good. Still felt like my stuff was really good going out there for the seventh, and we got the pitch count close to 100. So, um, you know, workload wise, I felt like this was a good step. That was my first time in the seventh inning.